Hello, and welcome to Neosho County Community College. In this quick tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to add a new page to your course and how to add an RSS portlet. When using the RSS feed portlet, it's recommended that you place it on its own page. Let's begin with adding a new page. To add a new page to your course, go down to the Add a Page option on the left-hand side under the navigation menu and select Add a Page. When the dialog box appears, you'll then scroll down and locate the page that you want to add. Locate the RSS Reader page. Remember that this page lets you bring together RSS feeds from around the web. Let's select an RSS Reader page. This will add an additional page to your course where an RSS Reader can be placed. You'll notice on the left on the navigation bar, RSS Reader is listed at the bottom of your course. We can change the name eventually. Here is where we're ready to begin to add a feed into the course. Most websites that you go to will often have an RSS feeder link embedded somewhere on the site. I'm going to go to an example of nprnews.org. Here, on the NPR website, I'll first choose a topic that I want to learn more about. I'll choose technology. After traveling to the topic page on this particular website, I'll scroll down to the bottom and locate the options for embedding news articles. This website happens to have them available in newsletters, podcasts, mobile, RSS feeds, widgets, API, or radio format. I'll select the RSS feeds. These are the RSS feeds that NPR offers. I could scroll down and locate an option that I wanted to learn more about or put into my course. I'll choose technology. This is the feed that you'll want to copy for your course. Here I'll select the URL at the top to copy. Control C. Then Going back to Inside and see, I'm ready now to add a feed. Select Add Feed. Here we can paste the location in and we can add a feed name. If you want to add multiple feeds, you could add a category to group them into. Choose Save. Now you'll notice how the RSS feeds are coming in from the NPR website. So students can go here to review the articles instead of going outside of the classroom. Next, I do want to rename my page so it doesn't say RSS Reader. This may be misleading for students. A more descriptive name would be more suitable. Here, I'll choose the Context Manager on the left-hand side under the Navigation pane. From the Context Manager, I'll then want to select Pages from the top. If I scroll down slightly, I'll notice the RSS Reader page at the bottom. Here, I'm going to select the pencil icon. Now, I can rename my page. Technology News. Choose Rename, and then you'll want to go down to the bottom and select Exit. When you return to your course, you'll now notice that Technology News is listed at the bottom. So when students select this page, they'll be taken automatically to your RSS Reader. This concludes the short tutorial on RSS News Feeds and how to add a page to your course. Thank you for joining me.